Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, it's not just cow farts producing methane or bogs, but also volcanoes, hot pools. A team of scientists from Montana State University has provided the first evidence that two new groups of microbes thriving in thermal features in Yellowstone National Park produce methane. The new discovery proves an insight and potential life exists elsewhere in our solar system. Two scientific papers describe the MSU researchers' verification of the first known example of single-celled organisms that produce methane to exist outside the lineage Uri Arcadia, which is part of the larger branch of the tree of life called Archaea. The methane-producing single-cell organisms are called methogens. While humans and other animals eat food, breathe oxygen, and exhale carbon dioxide to survive, methogens eat small molecules like carbon dioxide or methanol and exhale methanol. Most methogens are strict anaerobes, meaning they cannot survive in the presence of oxygen. Scientists have known since the 1930s that many anaerobic organisms within the archaea are methogens. And for decades, they believed that all methogens were in a single phylum, the Urea Arcata. But about 10 years ago, microbes with genes for methogenesis began to be discovered in other phyla, including one called thermal proteota. All we know about these organisms was their DNA. One researcher said no one had ever seen a cell of these supposed methogens. No one knew if they were actually used their methanogenesis genes or if they were growing by some other means. Samples were harvested from sediments in Yellowstone National Park hot springs ranging from temperatures from 141 degrees to 161 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be between 61 and 72 degrees Celsius. They grew the Yellowstone microbes in the labs. The microbes not only survived, but thrived, and they produce methane. While these microbes is found mainly in hydrothermal springs and deep sea vents, they are more widespread, appearing in wastewater treatment plants, animal guts, and other environments might, like marine sediment and wetlands, most often bogs. This is significant as methogens produce 70% of the world's methane, a gas 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide when it comes to trapping heat in the atmosphere. So they can't blame it all on cow farts, can they? Until their recent studies, no experimental work had been done on these microbes, aside from DNA se sequencing. While this newly identified group of methogens, Methanora sulfacora, seems to be confined to hot springs and deep sea hydrothermal vents, and in marine sediment soils and wetlands. The researcher went on to say, my best bet is that they sometimes grow by making methane and sometimes they do something else entirely, but we don't know when they grow or how or why. We now need to find out when they contribute to methane cycling and when not. So when you look at the microbial mats there at Yellowstone, yeah, just think about all the methane they're probably producing. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.